It's the number one luxury company in the world. Um, they certainly do a lot of things right. They are number one for a reason. Because you chose a specific region and a legendary re region, we're going to get into that in a moment. Um, you said something a few minutes ago that I really want to explore a bit, which is it's one thing to create and produce wine, but it's a whole other challenge to sell wine. And clearly your, your, I'm not sure if it was your last job, but maybe your biggest job was quite literally doing that. And so let's go back. To, if we can talk about working for Moa Hennessy for a moment, forgive me if I'm wrong and correct me. Probably the biggest, most aggressive company possibly in the world. So what was it like getting that job? Was it a challenge? Was it based on just education? How did you go about getting that job? And then what kind of lessons did you learn while being there that's helping you do what you do today? Well, it was, it was out of luck. I was a buyer of a restaurant in the in Manhattan, on Park Avenue in Manhattan. And I was talking to my sales rep. You know, I asked him if he liked his job. And I really didn't think about applying or anything, but I, he thought that I was interested in, you know, a similar position. And out of luck, they had open positions. And he spoke to uh, my first manager at the company. And um, she called me and she, she asked me to meet with her. I honestly didn't know what, she wanted to meet about. Uh, I thought she wanted to meet about the restaurant where I was working and, you know, working some program or something. And uh, in less than 48 hours, I had a job. So, um, so I was quite lucky. But uh, how, um, how intense and how it is, you know, looking at, you know, Moore Hennessy or LVMH is a big umbrella. It's the number one luxury company in the world. Um, they certainly do a lot of things right. They are number one for a reason. And at the same time, I was with, you know, the, the sister company that owns also part of the Moa Hennessy is Diageo. Diageo is the biggest liquor supplier in the world. And at the time they had wine as well. Um, so it, it, you know, it's, it is very, it, in a way it is easier to walk in anywhere and say, I have Johnny Walker or Viv Clico or, you know, Don Perignon in my portfolio. But at the same time, it was very, uh, from a sales perspective, it was very, uh, not aggressive, but very, uh, very uh, goals driven. And I found myself that out of 116 months of employment, I was a top quarter performer for 112, so it was extremely competitive, and I wanted to be the best at what at what I did uh, all the time. Um, so you know, a lot of it really has to do with building relationships and working as you know harder than the competition and and uh, doing a lot of things right and never promising something and not delivering. At the end there, you mentioned a few suggestions, but in general, because you're building out your current brand of the Vice Wines, is there a major lesson that you learned while working at that global luxury company that has helped you, that has helped the Vice Wines explode to the growth it has today? Yes, I think, I mean, many things. My first, probably my most important lesson was to intertwine your personal life and your professional life in this, this industry. You can't really separate them and be successful at it. I think it's just making it work. It is a fun industry. You know, we do go out a lot and get to enjoy a glass of wine during the day or two or three, um, and we find dine a lot, but at the same time, it is work. And, uh, you know, finding the balance between the personal and the professional and making them one feed the other in a sense, it's uh, one of the biggest, uh, you know, 
advantages uh, that one can do to succeed in this industry. So Malik, thank you for your time, your wines, your background, your incredible rock star sales history, your future, your team, your family. How can we help you? What is your request from the audience watching and listening? And how can we learn more about you and your brand? How can we shop your wines? How can we find you? Well, thank you for asking. Um, how you can help me, I see myself as an ambassador of Napa Valley. So I encourage you to please, uh, you know, discover Napa and keep it as the leading wine region in the world. We are a wine stop shop for Napa Valley. We have the most diverse portfolio of Napa Valley wines uh, at, at, at a great price point. Please check us out, thevice.com. Uh, please follow us. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Fun fact is that our corks have my phone number on them. So this ah. is my phone number. You can text me, call me, DM me, FaceTime me. If I'm not in an awkward situation, I'll pick up. But uh, I'm, so, I'm very accessible. Uh, you know, I'd love to... Uh, um, I'd love to hear from, from you. I'd love to answer your questions. I'd love to help you discover the wine industry, but specifically in Apple. I'd love to help you uh, not only discover it and enjoy it as well.